What do you think you would do in this problem? Multiply four by both sides. Multiply both sides by four, right? When I look at this, I, there's a, an issue that I have, and the issue comes with this division by four, right? Is there a way that I can undo that? The opposite of dividing by four is what? Multiplying, Multiplying by four. And we know that if I had something like this, if I was, here's my little thought bubble, something for us to think about. If I had x divided by 4 is equal to 7, how would I fix that guy so that I wouldn't have the division by 4? And it's multiplication by 4, right? The opposite of dividing by 4 is multiplying by 4. So I can do that here on the left side, multiply times 4. I'm going to do the same thing on the right, multiply times 4. Do you all agree with that? What's going to happen on the left side? It's going to be what? On the left side? Over here, this is 4 over 1, right? So we hopefully see that the 4 is reduced away. I mean, isn't that what we were trying to do anyway? So there's nothing left on the left side except for the x minus 5 because the 4 is reduced away. On the right side, does this 4 have something to reduce with in the denominator? No, there's no denominator. It's written except it's understood to be 1. So what I need to do on the right side is what? Distribute. Multiply, distribute. What do we get? 12x plus 8. We get 12x plus 8 when I distribute. Yes, what is the question? Okay. Why wouldn't it be 3x plus 2 times 4? Just to put it. What you do to one side, you do to the other side. So if I multiply oh, the left oh. side by 4, I have to multiply the whole right side by 4. It's not like you're moving a term from one side to the other. When it comes to multiplication, that's going to affect the whole group. You're multiplying the whole group by 4. No. Now that I have this, this is an equation you know how to solve. What would you do? Put the 8 over. Switch the 8. So move the 8 over? Yeah. Okay, so subtract 8. So if the constants go to the left, where do the variables go? Right. To the right. So subtract the x. Now what do I have? Negative 13 equals 11x. Finish solving this guy. You always divide by that coefficient of x. So what does x equal? Negative 13 over 11. Questions about that one? Let's try this one. x minus 2 times the quantity x plus 5 equals 17 plus x minus 19. What would I do here? Well, if I do what's inside the parentheses, there's nothing that I can do. Well, wouldn't it be 2x? Do you distribute? Well, there's distributing, which falls under the multiplication part of PEMDAS. Yeah. Right? So go ahead and distribute, and what do we have? Negative 2x plus negative 10. Negative 2x then becomes minus 10. Remember, when you are oh, distributing, yeah. you're taking this negative 2, and you have to distribute to the x into the 5. And then on the right side, I'm just going to bring down what I have. 17 plus x minus 19. Now, one of the things that we haven't really talked about is combining like terms, simplifying each side of the equation if you can. So how can I simplify the left side? What do I get? Negative x minus 10. 
Negative x minus 10 is equal to what? That's just an x, and then 17 minus 19 is minus 2. Do you all agree? OK. So then what? Plus x. You want to add the x? So where are you moving your x's to? You move your x's to the right. If you can move to the left, it's still going to be the same thing. At the end, it's not going to matter. Yep. If you're moving the x over to the left, wouldn't you subtract? But I'm, I, I'm not moving it to the left. Oh. I'm moving this x to the other side, so these guys become 0. If you move it to the left, you'd have minus x and minus x. But since I'm moving mine to the right, I've got to move this negative x to the right, so it becomes a positive x when I move them over. So if my variables are going to the right, my constants have to go to the left by doing what? Adding two to the negative ten. Add two and add two. So what does my equation look like now? Negative eight. Negative eight equals two x. Two x equals negative eight. Still the same thing. Mm -hmm. And then what? Divide by two. Divide by two. So <coughs> we have what? Negative 4 is equal to x. Do you all agree? I came up with a different answer. Totally different? Now, if you had moved the x's to the left, you would have had a negative 2x. Mm -hmm. if, you add, if you add 10 to cancel out the negative 10, you get a positive 8. And you would have had, on the left side, negative 2x. On the right would have been a positive 8. And that still gives you a negative 4. Make sure that you do have a minus 10 here. Probably just, probably just in the math that I bad, uh, came up wrong. Well, I thought I heard you say subtract 10, but you'd actually be adding 10 to both sides. I go with negative 2x minus 10 equals 17 minus 9. Then That's 19, not 9. Sir? It's a 19, not 9. Oh, so I it's just 9. No problem. So it's, it's good that you mentioned that. Sometimes when we're writing our problems, we may make mistakes in how we write things. I've seen people take a minus 19 like this and turn it into a plus 9 because the 1 gets too close to the minus. And then the answer is completely wrong. So don't change what I give you. And be very careful when you're doing something on like a test or a quiz that you are going from step to step and you don't switch numbers around or you don't change numbers. It's very easy to do.